How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse and today I have a quick awesome announcement. So for years I've been talking about using the Up 3D printers. My first ever 3D printer was an Up Mini and I've been using them ever since. But the biggest complaint I've ever had about Up printers is you couldn't change the temperatures that you printed at. The ABS setting was locked and it was locked down to support their filaments which printed a higher temperature to other brands of ABS and their PLA settings were similarly locked down. So that prompted the community to make the, the up hack that I've been using for quite a few years and I made a video on probably over a year ago. You can have a look at it here. And I've been using that ever since. But today is the day in the latest up studio you can now change temperatures and a huge thanks to you guys who pointed it out to me because I seem to have missed it when I mentioned the latest up studio in my vlog the other day. So, let's get into it. Alright, so what I have here is the new Up Studio from Tier Time. So, this is their new 3D printing software and it's designed to work with the Up 3D printers. So, it'll work with any legacy Up and it'll also work with the new Ups, which would be the Up Mini version 2 with Wi-Fi. And I'm looking forward to testing one of those out soon. That one right there. Anyway, so this is their new interface. You go to up, and some people have pointed out it does look a lot like the Windows 10 builder for 3D printing. It's I think it's just pure coincidence, or maybe they took a few design cues, but it is up printing software. I don't think it's gonna work on any other printers. So it works like you know any other slicer, you grab a file and pull it in, like so. But here's where it's different to the original up software. So let's go down to maintenance and under the material window. You can see it has ABS, PLA, ABS Plus, and eSun. How did eSun get in there, you might ask? Well, I added it, and I'll show you how it works. So you go to Customized, and you need to sign into your account. So this is one thing some of you might not agree with. You need to have an account to make custom profiles, but I think that might mean it links it to other computers when you log in and it keeps track of your printers. I'm not exactly sure what the login entails, but you do need to make an account. So to log in, you just go to the top here in the top right and to my account. A uh, little bit buggy still and just log in. Right, so I've logged into my account in the Up Studio software and you can see here's a serial number for an Up box that's currently connected and I binded it. I don't know what that actually means. It doesn't seem to, I don't, I don't know. Maybe no one else can use that printer if you bind it to that account. I don't know. I'd like to get a response and I will t tell you guys more once I learn more about how the software works. But anyway, regardless of that, let's go back to our printing interface and let's go back into maintenance. So now I've logged in, I can go under the material and customize. And here is our customize window. So in this window, we can grab a roll of filament. So for example, this is my last bit of black eSun ABS, which I've printed many and many projects with. So it says print temp of 220 to 260 degrees C. So if you've printed with eSun on a stock up, you'll know that it prints too hot and it tends to stick the support material to the print. So we can go in and go to add and we can add a new profile. So this is eSun ABS. Okay, well, it doesn't let you add more than a few characters. Okay, let's just go with eSun for now. So it might be a bit confusing if you have eSun, ABS, and PLA, but I think the PLA setting should work for anything. Maybe. Anyway, <laughs> let's go to that, and you'll notice you only have one setting to change, one temperature change, and this may or may not suits you in the temperature hack, the fix up 3D hack I've been using for a long time. You have three settings you can choose. So you can print the first layer super hot to stick it down to the bed and then the other layers uh, at a lower temperature. Here you only have one setting to change. So that may or may not work for you, but that's fine. And you can see here you can set the platform temperature as well. So that's go of 90 because it's an ABS. But you can see also ABS plus 274 degrees C. That is crazy. And just in case you're wondering how hot you can push the ups now, well, have a look at the extruder design. So this is the hot end on an up 3D printer. It is an all metal design. There is no PTFE tube through it. It's just metal, which means sometimes printing PLA, it can bind up, but it also means this can get hot. How hot, you might ask? Well, I was talking recently to the guys at 3D Printing Systems who distribute the ups around Australia. They tested their ups 
to 300 degrees Celsius for a few minutes. They didn't print anything at that temperature, but they did make it heat up to that temperature, which is nuts. Will that damage your printer? Probably. It's pretty hot, but yeah, the fact that this little thing can get up to that temperature and there's no PTFE to degrade at that temperature is pretty crazy. And of course, you can make as many profiles as you like. So you can make, you know, this one, which prints at maybe a very low temperature uh, PLA with a 40 degree bed. Let's do that. And maybe another one here. And then once you've done that, you know, let's, let's try 300. That's my crazy 300 degrees one with 90 degree bed. And once you've done that, you can save them. And under your material drop down list, when you're logged in, they will be there. So there you have it guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you guys out there with UPS. You can now make your own temperature profiles with the latest UP Studio. So yes, the UP Studio software does still leave a lot to be desired. There is no way to look at your G code before you commit it to the printer, which is a big deal for a file like this, which I'm not gonna give anything away about. But for example, printing this, you wanna know where support material is gonna be and you don't wanna print it blind. That's where I really think this software needs a G-code preview. But other than that, it's the same as the old UpSup software, just with a different layout. And yeah, and now ability to change your temperatures. If you enjoyed this video here on Makers Muse and want to see future 3D printing videos, tips, tricks, and reviews, don't forget to subscribe, guys. I talk all day, every day, about 3D printing technologies, and I love it, and I'd love to have you on board. Look forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Makers Muse. Catch you later. He has placed satellites into orbit. He is actually blocked in space.